YouTube, it's BeWalkio7 here, and welcome back to Meech and the Rat Tribe. Now, in the last episode, we actually found a little Barina baby who we have named Constantine. Now, Constantine is still a itty bitty little baby, but uh, I have already pretty much planned out who he's probably going to end up breeding with, and that is little dragon fruit back here, our big ear child, our first ever big ear Meechling, and she is so cute. I love her so much. I love, 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 love her. She doesn't really look like a rat, though, if I'm being honest. She does look more like she'd fit our bunny rabbit, um, our bunny rabbit tribe of the future. But, uh, she and little Constantine might actually fall in love. And her challenge right now, um, has been decided that she will have to find Honeyberry. Because I forgot all the challenges of the previous episode. So, Parsley has to gather us some nesting material. And Dragonfruit has to find Honeyberry by using her snent. Snent? I was gonna say Sniffer and her scent. Um, sniffer. Using her listener as well to try and find Honeyberry. And her brother, I'm not sure what Grisha has to do yet. But what I do know is Nutmeg is still hunting for her bunny. And Cookie's passed away. I was gonna breed her, but I forgot that she passed away. And I'm so sad. Because I really wanted her to have a baby of her own. And now she can't. I'm sad. I'm sad. But you know what? You know what? Sira, Sira and Saskatoon are gonna have a baby. So they're going to breed. They fell in love. Saskatoon was very impressed by her. And, and stuff. And just please. He need, he, let him have this. Let him have this. Micah is just peacefully staying over here with his acorns, gathering them up, watching them all twist and turn in his little hole. And Saskatoon, I think I've set up both of their genetics. She is fighting against all of her bad genes, and we don't want spiky body for a rat, so I'm trying to get rid of it. But uh, I encourage green eyes for him, and I think for now while he's here, he might as well just pick up some of the berries and keep an eye on Constantine. But uh, we also have these lovely little babies, tons of babies from Stargazer the Storyteller and um, Quince the first ever water body Meechling, and I don't think he has a baby with the water body yet, and I don't know if that's actually a good thing. I think that might be a good thing, honestly, but uh, yes, yes, here we are, here we are, and his daughter personally inherited his no paw, and her challenge is to gather nesting material, so she's going to go ahead and try... Aw, poor little thing. I guess she'll try again uh, for one more turn and then we'll have to see. But Gardenia is over here and she and Honeyberry are just kind of traveling together. And I think that Honeyberry might finally just come up and join her. So she's gonna run up here, I think, and reveal the lovely... Well, her brothers, actually. She's gonna reveal the lovely potato. And I think... Um, Braylon's going to swiftly swipe up that algae and be grateful that he finally found enough of it in order to complete his, um, his challenge. But Gardenia is going to see the lovely potato and I think she's going to feel herself blush, get, get all nervous and blushy and she's feeling really shy right now all of a sudden. And I think that she might, um, try to get close to where he is. Uh, bunny or, I think I'm going to swipe up the berries. And I think she might uh, head over to where he is just to see him, just to, just to chat and get to know each other. And I think she'll go ahead and sit on the nest and ignore the bunny, utterly swept into his bright blue eyes and just totally won over. And I think they'll go ahead and have a baby together. And she does have blindness recessive, so we want to really quickly change this to a normal eyesight. And let's see, what else does she have? She's webbed hind feet recessives. Oh uh, no. That is not allowed. No, 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 and no. But I don't know what he could encourage, so um No blood clotting yet. Uh I guess we'll be getting close to that soon enough, but no blood clotting yet. I'm not sure what else we could put in there, maybe? I mean, it might be nice to see more of the ram horns. I don't know if I really want to encourage pattern. Um... I really do not know. It would also be nice to kind of see a color difference, because most of our nichelings are relatively the same. So maybe what he could encourage is possibly bringing in a really bright red nicheling. 
You know, I mean, that could be interesting. Maybe a red-brown each thing. Let's try bright red. Let's try for bright red, and let's see what that does. And then he'll, he'll be purely cosmetic. Actually, I do think it would be nice if he could encourage his claw a bit, because I would like some more fighters, and Vazia's line is a line of fighters. Now, while this is all happening, half-sister and half-brother Honeyberry and Braylon have talked, and what's kind of awkward is that they can breed together, so I'm debating on if that should be a thing or not. But these two are talking to each other, and I think they're finding a lot in common. And I think they're just, uh, I think she's made another friend. I think she's very happy to get acquainted with her half-brother. Now, Dima! Dima, my friend, you are over here doing what you do, and I think he's gonna start exploring the savannah. So he's gonna start, like, looking through all of these grasses, and he might actually be the first Nietzscheling to make it over here. So he's going to start clearing all that out, and we are definitely getting close to moving everybody, getting close to the ports, and I'm excited to possibly go to a new island. That would be very, very cool. But little Nutmeg is still looking for her bunny rabbit, and Kausa, I don't know, maybe he'll help her out. He'll go this way, and I think little Nutmeg might follow after him, and she sees it. She sees her evil bunny that she wants to totally destroy. So she's going to go, she's going to try to get those bunnies on the next turn, whereas these guys are actually going to breed again. Stargazer is going to swiftly breed with her mate, and then she's going to hop straight back in the nest, whereas Dragonfruit is going to follow her sniffer and her big, big, big ears that help her so much with listening and try to find Honeyberry. Now she hears the name, she hears the name mentioned over here. She hears her name mentioned over here, so she is going to start heading over this way and making her way over to Honeyberry and trusting her instincts that she might be there. And I don't think, yeah, I think Honeyberry is blocked from her view, so she doesn't know if Honeyberry is over here, but she's just going to trust her ears and do the best that she can. And her father is going to take his time collecting from everything and staying close to his family. Whereas little Tamarillo and I think um, and I think his mate Birch are going to breed again. She has some mask. She has mask in her genetics now for some fun. We're gonna zoom in and I think he might try to crack an acorn a couple of times. And she'll do the same. She really likes trying to crack those and Bitterweed has given up on the acorns. He is so done with those acorns, so I think instead he's going to go try to find some clam shells to crack instead. Same level of difficulty, my man. Same level of difficulty. And everybody over here is doing what they're doing. I don't believe we have any Newtons that we need to move, so we have yet another lovely little baby from Stargazer the Storyteller. And actually, we also have Gardenia up here. And I believe I set up their genetics already, so that's really interesting. I'm excited to see them. But I also need to look at Stargazer the Storyteller's last baby. And then she will be taking over for Quince as leader, and I'm already feeling bad for Quince. Already feeling bad for Quince because I'm gonna miss him so much, and it's gonna hurt to say goodbye! And this- I- You guys seeing that? Look at how cute that is. Look at how cute that is. Wait a second, let me get closer. Look at how cute that is. Are you kidding me, sweet- Sweetie with the bananas. Look at that. Look at how adorable. Oh my word. I'm trying to get a good picture. There we go. That is just so cute. She's just sheltering the bunny. I wonder if she'd actually attack it. Maybe maybe Dragon Fruit isn't interested in bunnies. Maybe she thinks that they're first too soft, so she just pets them instead. Aw, that would be really, really cute. But that bunny's hiding under her, so I imagine he might be running from our other Nichlings who aren't very fond of bunnies. Bunnies are quite a nuisance in this tribe. They eat all of our berries, and the rats do not appreciate that. So they often try to um, brush up on their hunting skills when bunnies are around. But alright, let's go ahead, let's pass the turn, and I'm excited to see this last baby. Oh, It's a little girl, and she has big nose, and she's got lovely red spots. Oh, how beautiful, Anoressi, or Anoressi. Aww. Aww, she's so cute. Perfect blood clotting, C and A. She's really quite lovely. Oh, wow. I really like her. Let's go ahead and let's give her quite a fabulous name. I wonder what we'll land on. 
Satsuma. Oh, that's cute. I, oh, is that a boy name? <laughs> Satsuma? Um, okay, maybe... Oh, but I like Satsuma for her, but I think that's a boy name. So I guess uh, the person who suggested it intended it to be a boy name. So I guess we could also go with uh, Fei Joya, I think. I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, Fei Joya is how I'm going to say it now. Fei Joya. So little Fei Joya right here, and she's super cute. She's super, super cute. And it looks like Constantine is moving around too. And I forgot that we had another baby on the nest over here. Little Sikora. Oh, how cute. So, Rilara, oh, sorry, I keep, why am I mixing up all your names? The random niche names, I keep mixing them up. But, so, we have little Fishoya here, and oh, you poor thing, losing Quince. What a blow to our storyteller's heart. But, before we do anything else, let's let Nutmeg just go after her bunny. Kausa, help her out, please. Oh, my word, she can't even kill that stupid bunny. You can do it. Oh, Kausa, Kausa. Kausa, okay. Kausa, oh my word. Kausa, Kausa, help us out. Kausa. Oh, I think I think she's going to be very annoyed. She can't kill the darn bunny. This stupid bunny keeps running away from her. Cursed bun bun. A cursed bun bun. But we have quite a few other lovely little babies. And we have a potato copy over here. Let's see. What should we... Oh, Spud. His name is Spud. We're naming him Spud. Hello, Spud. So, little Spud, child of potato and gardenia, looks pretty much exactly like his father. Yep, very similar at the very least. Same coloring and got the claws. So, okay, that's interesting. And I definitely think that he and gardenia will have more babies. And I feel like Honeyberry might actually start going this way now. Just a little bit, maybe clear out some more of the grass. And I think, um,. Braylon's going to swiftly collect this bunny up and clear out more of the grass. And Honeyberry's going to do the same. And speaking of Honeyberry, oh, Dima, you got a bunny. Actually, why don't you grab that potato? Why don't you grab that bunny? And then maybe Dima can ga gab? grab that for you. And maybe you can sit there, Dima, scoot over here. And I think Potato's going to scoot back here, sit by his mate who is going to scoot over and I think she might breed with him straight away but I also think they might actually take their time with their next child she only has a few days left so they will have another child but I do believe that she might feel as if she would rather get to know her little spud before having a ton of babies so she is going to talk with spud we're gonna get to know spud she's gonna devise a challenge for him and speaking of challenges poor little parsley is still trying to collect up some nesting material and she is having no luck. I think Dragonfruit is going to give her a pat on the back where she, um, while she tries to find Honeyberry. So she's going to use her ears and follow her ears and I think she's going to come over here and introduce herself to Honeyberry completing her challenge. And I don't know if we're going to give her like prodigy rankings for that, although I admit I'm very tempted to. But uh, she definitely did well, and she followed her ears, and I think she did very, very well trying to find this guy. But we also have little, little Sikora down here, who Constantine is getting to know, and she has blind eyes recessive, so we're going to go ahead and swiftly plop normal eyes in there. And she also has pretty much good everything else, actually. She does have hemophilia, and I really wish she didn't. Normal blood, <gasps> normal blood clotting! Normal blood clotting! Oh my word! I can put that in for you! Perfect! Wait, do you have normal blood clotting as is? Oh no, you do have hemophilia! Oh, thank goodness! Let's work on that! Oh my gosh, we finally did it! Finally got normal blood clotting! That was such a pain to wait for. But I think Rilar- uh, I keep calling you Rilari! Sira and her little baby Sakura. Aww. Let's go ahead and let's quickly rename Sikora. Gonna scroll again. We're gonna see some of the newer names, such as Marigold. Now, I think that fits you quite well, although you might be a bit of a pale Marigold. You're certainly very, very lovely, and you have IND immunity, low ish fertility. Oh, you're really lovely, though. Lovely overall. Quite beautiful. 
So I'm not sure if she, if uh, Isira and Saskatoon are going to have another baby, but Sira, maybe they'll wait a little bit. I think Saskatoon will be happy just getting to know his family and getting to hang out with them. And speaking of which, Bitterweed is feeling very bitter right now. He just wants to find a clamshell. So he's going to sniff and he is looking for a clamshell because he is so done with acorns. He is so done with acorns, you guys. He has had it with those terrible, terrible, terrible shells and he feels that he might have better luck trying to crack open a clam shell because he's just that silly. But oh my word, very impressed by you, Bitterweed. Do your best, do your best. But uh, okay, we have so many Nichlings now, I do think I'm going to slow down on the baby having for a little bit because it's starting to get just a tad overwhelming and oh my word so many new things to move around and get to know but parsley has yet to gather nesting material i think she'll have one more turn to do so and then she'll be let off grisha has to find hum i think grisha might have to oh you know what i think his challenge will be to get to this rock I think he has to find a rock in the ocean, so Grisha is going to try and find a rock in the ocean. And it has to be like further out. Well, I guess if he wants to find a rock in the ocean, I suppose this will be it. <laughs> so maybe maybe Grisha is just super intelligent, but I feel like Stargazer might not let him off that easy. He'd be like, no, no, no. I'm just as smart as you are, sweetheart, and I know that trick. I know that rock. Find me a new one. So he is not getting off easy, he's going to have to scoot and he's going to have to try and find a new one to impress his mother. So as sneaky as he tried to be, he has to go out here and find some new rocks that we have yet to uh, light up. So that's Grisha's challenge and I definitely think that he amused his mother there trying to sneak and pretend that he found a new rock when she herself had seen that before he was even born. But uh, her son, Kuro, is going to have a challenge too. I'm just not sure what. Gonna have to think about that one. I think you guys have some great challenge suggestions. One of them might be to... Maybe his challenge will be to fight a carnivore. And, oh gosh, he's just so... Hmm. You know what? He has to find us a real nest. He has to find us another permanent nest, and that is his challenge. And he kind of gets let off after the first couple of turns, but he might keep going with it. We'll have to see with him. It depends on him. But I do think that these two are going to be around together. They're going to gather up things together. They're going to stay together. And Sira is going to stay by Constantine and stay by her child, help collect up berries, and keep an eye on everybody. And Micah, he's just happy to kind of... I wonder, I wonder if he might, for one last time, try to slice at that mole, just to see. It looks like he's still very stumbly, though. He wasn't able to really do anything. Oh, poor thing. Poor buddy. It's okay, though. It's okay. And we still have everybody over here. So we actually have another baby to look forward to, and I have yet to rename Analako. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to rename her, and we're going to see what name we get. Uh, uh, these are all boy names. Oh, whoopsie. Still boy names. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got a female name, Rocky. So hello, little Rocky. And she has A and C. She does have hemophilia recessive, which we can now start properly eradicating from the tribe because normal blood clotting has been gifted to us. And I'm super happy about that because it's annoying. But these two are going to go ahead and have their next baby. Birch is very happy to have claimed this nest as her own, as it was her mom's nest, and she is definitely happy to just have it for herself and her family and her future generations. Meanwhile, these guys are off on a whole other adventure that the others don't even know about. But now that um, Dragonfruit has found Honeyberry, I think she's going to go home, inform her mother about it, and she might possibly run into little Constantine. But we do have another baby that we need to uh, look for that we get to look forward to. So we're gonna zoom in, and we're gonna see Birch's next little little child, and I am gonna be a little more careful with the baby having for now, because we're starting to get a bigger tribe, and I really don't wanna forget the story, and I don't wanna get so overwhelmed by all the new things we have to focus on. So we're gonna try to slow down the babies just a little bit. 
but we're gonna pass the turn and see. Oh, huh. Oh, she has stripes like her father. They're really, really faint. But we have Rihanna, Rihanna, -na, and she actually has. Ah, she still has hemophilia recessives. Okay. Well, her parents don't have this in their um in their mutations, so I guess that's fine. But she has ENF. She has uh blue eyes, lovely blue eyes, and I think she might be the. I don't know, does Nutmeg have blue eyes? I don't think she does, but she has blue eyes. They're a blue-eyed baby. And yeah, she's really lovely. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna rename her. She looks a lot like her sister. These fa this family is just having clones of each other. But let's see. Lydia. Lydia. That is a lovely name. So we're gonna name her Lydia then. So little Lydia's over here, and I think she's perfectly happy. And I do believe that Gardenia might have another baby now, but alright, you guys. Okay. Okay. I think this might be a little shorter of an- a little bit shorter of an episode, but uh, so many new things to look after. It's a little much. Alright, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully, hopefully we have quite a few interesting pairings, and we'll see what Grisha does as he tries to get to a rock. He tried to outfox his mom. I still find it adorable that he tried to outfox his mom, the prodigy. Very, very nice try, Grisha. Very nice try. You definitely amused her, nonetheless. But alright, you guys. I do think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching. But I gotta be popping on out here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!